What's going on, everybody? So I think we have a potential big trade on Amazon this coming week if the market does want to continue the dead cat bounce. So Friday session, we really, really had good price action towards the end of the day. We kind of, you know, made this initial washout and then we kind of came up uh, into the range, kind of consolidated sideways. And then we had that breakout the last hour of the day. So with that being said, I'm going to give you guys a couple of levels that we could uh, kind of key in on because I think there's a, a, a really big trade uh, to the upside on Amazon. If we kind of just, you know, wait for the levels to play out, stay extremely patient. If the market does want to continue this bounce to the upside, potentially maybe this short term bottom is in not saying that we're not going to go any lower. But as of right now, it seems like we're holding this level in this week was a great consolidation week kind of just back and forth within a range, even though the ranges are big. And the intraday moves have seemed, you know, large, it seems like, you know, we had big moves up, and then it kind of gave it all back. And then we had big move up, and then it gave it all back. You know, it was kind of like that across the board. With that being said, we could be now forming a nice little base for the next leg higher. So what I want to take a look at here, $2,700 all the way into this zone of around $2,760 seems to be uh, the demand zone on Amazon for this past week. You can see every time we came into this green demand zone box, we bounced out of it. We came into this box, we bounced out of it. We came down to this zone and we bounced out of it. You can see our our supply from 2885 all the way up to 2900 every time we came into this area we were sold every time we came into this area we were sold we came into this area we were sold we came into this area we were sold so now with that being said we did push up into this area just before close so there's a couple of things that we really need to look for if we are going to make a continued bounce higher what do we want to see and this is the perfect situation for me that i would want to see now obviously things don't have to play out this way things can do the complete opposite but this is the trade that i'm looking for what i'm looking for is some kind of weak open maybe even a gap down into 2840 2850s why because on friday this level was acting as resistance for a couple of hours here you can see we came up and touched this level one time was rejected we came up touch it again was rejected and finally when we broke through we made this nice intraday run towards the end of the day so for me what i would like to see is some kind of flat open maybe even a gap down a small gap down or even let's say right off the bell, we get some sort of little push here into supply and then we sell off. What I would like to see is some kind of back test of this resistance line here. Uh, see if we can hold this as support. If we can hold this for support for an hour, 30 minutes, two hours, and then you see it start to break to the upside, this is where I'm going to look to take a long play. Obviously, it's going to present a good risk to reward ratio because we know that if we lose that 2841 zone, we're going to just exit our position, cut the loss there, just due to the fact that we know that we're in the middle of a trading range and we could potentially be coming back into uh, demand. Demand being this box here that I have down where we've tested it one time, two times, three times, four times last week. Um, and every time we got down there, buyers seem to be more than willing to buy stock at that level. So with that being said, if we do lose 28.44, obviously an area where we can just cut our trade maybe if you're a scalper and you are looking for that move to the downside what you would be what you would be looking for is some kind of green open pop to the upside come back into supply and lose supply and if we lose supply you can take your short position here and ride that down into 2844 see what we do at that area if we do consolidate sideways and lose that area you can continue to hold your short position into this uh, demand zone and kind of close your position there I just wanted to give you guys a quick couple of, you know, levels that you guys can kind of key on. So if we do have any kind of whether we, you know, we come up into supply, chop around, consolidate sideways, when we break to the top side, this is the play that I'm looking for with the potential price target of twenty eight eighty into three thousand dollars. That's going to be the next supply zone. That's where I'm potentially looking to clear my trade and take some profits. So best case scenario, what we want to have happen is come into this demand zone just slightly and then kind of sell off, have a little pullback to this previous area of resistance on Friday, then kind of curl around and come back into supply. And if we can come back into supply and close over, you can kind of take your profits there as I will expect some sort of pullback into supply. And then the next leg up will be taking out the whatever highs we make outside of supply. And then that trade we can potentially ride from around 
you know, anywhere from 2900, 2920, all the way into 2980. And that's going to be your potential trade. Um, if we do, so just kind of playing out a different scenario that so we can be kind of aware of what's going on. If we do have a green open into supply, I would not rush to buy any position here, even if we break above, just due to the fact that I do want to see a pullback. I want to see a pullback into this supply zone on the five minute time frame. I want to see some form of consolidation. And as we push out of supply the second time, this is where I'm going to look to take my trade long over that 2900, 2920 area, and then look to ride that 2940, 2960, 2980 area. I think this is going to be the next leg up. This is where you're going to be able to make some money. I'm not going to be too short sighted on Amazon unless we completely, you know, unless we completely break out of this zone, consolidate sideways, and lose the supply, come crashing all the way down through 2840 back into this 2760. Obviously, if you want to see Amazon make some sort of leg down, what you would be looking for is a small pop here, come down, lose this zone. We would need to consolidate back inside the demand zone and lose 2700. If we do lose 2700, that's going to be your big macro trade for a short position on Amazon. So I would not go into this week, even though potentially we could have dips and potentially we could pull back. I would not just be looking for the market to go lower because Amazon is around 150, 180 points above demand, meaning that yes, there might be room to take short positions on an intraday scalp or day trade. But if you're talking about another leg down, we're going to need to lose 2,700. So until we lose 2,700, you're not going to see any big macro leg to the downside on Amazon. There's more room for Amazon to kind of come up into this zone back test previous resistance and kind of shoot higher into the next supply zone into this area. And this area is going to be the new leg on Amazon. So definitely something that you want to look for uh, this coming week. I think it could be a huge trade. If you stay patient and wait for these zones to confirm, wait for price action to confirm supply and demand. And if you guys are really on top of it and you guys are watching these stocks, setting your alerts, I think you can make a killing this week on Amazon to the to the upside, even make some money on a potential scalp to the downside if we do lose supply. With that being said, guys, if you guys want access to my gold members uh, chat room on my Discord, I have two sections of Discord. One is completely free with general chat rooms, technical analysis breakdowns, some free callouts. However, I do have a paid service. It's $20 a month. It is not a subscription service. So whether you wanna buy for one month, kind of try me out, uh, see what I have to offer, see if I can give you any sort of value. And then you don't have to worry about your credit card being charged each and every single month. It's just if you want to sign up again, you just repurchase the gold members package. But with that package, what you get is basically every single day intraday, I'm going to kind of call out specific levels and zones that I'm watching. I'm going to give you guys the potential trades that I'm taking, kind of show you guys my entries and exits. Also, I do have a one-on-one -on -one mentorship that comes along with that. So you guys can kind of ask me questions on any particular trades that you're in. And we can kind of do some technical analysis breakdown on your specific trades. Also, I do uh, show my screen and trade live with you. So you can kind of watch my trading on uh, Discord where you can kind of see these zones as to why I'm getting in and why I'm getting out. Also, uh, if you do look for stocks and you potentially maybe you can't find any stocks to trade that day, I do put out a watch list and signals alert service. So that is in the gold members package. If you guys are looking for a trading strategy, maybe you guys are still new and maybe you guys are experienced, but you can't figure it out why you're not being profitable. I do have a trading course. That trading course is going to give you all how I'm breaking down my entries and exits, why I'm entering the stock, how do we use the moving averages as support, how do we know when a stock is ready to break out, how do we know when to short a stock, you know, some psychology stuff in there. It's really, really good for whether you're new or you've been trading for a while and you just can't seem to find your edge. If you're looking for an edge in the market and you're looking for a strategy, definitely want to gonna wanna go through that trading course. It's gonna explain everything in depth. That can be found on my website at evolutiontraders.com. Also, guys, do me a favor. I'm really trying to get to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 subscribers this year. If you guys could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I do drop videos like this nonstop all week. I'm always currently working on charting, technical analysis, trades, 
breakdowns. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about Amazon. Um, and I will see you guys all in the next trading video.